Hey guys, today's class is perfect if you are looking for something to wake you up and energize you before a workout. Maybe you've had a long day and you need something to pick you up, or maybe you've just woken up and you need a bit of a move around before you do whatever you're doing. Bring your right foot out in front of you and come up here into a nice stretch. All right, so what I'm not doing is I'm not bringing my hips out behind. I'm going to tuck them under and that's going to stretch the front of my left hip here and just breathe. So we're just working on opening out that left hip and stretching. This is great if you've been sat down all day or you spent a lot of time sat down yesterday, maybe you've been driving for a while. It's really good at opening out the hips and uh, hopefully getting rid of a little bit of uh, that lower back pain we get as well. Nice, ease that off, let's switch sides. So left foot forwards, tuck the hips under and stretch out the front of your, your right hip this time. And it's all right if you're not, not feeling whatever you're about to do. Hopefully over the next few minutes, we're gonna just get a few stretches, move around a little bit. Our bodies are gonna feel really good and then we're gonna feel motivated and ready to do what we do next. Good, all right, then down to all fours. All right, we're just gonna drop our hips down towards the mat here. You can bridge towards the mat slightly with your glutes and then lift your chest up here. Good, back to all fours. Step yourself back into plank. Hold yourself here for a few breaths. And then lift your hips, bend your knees into that down dog. Pausing here. Let your head hang. Maybe rock from side to side. Get the shoulders moving a bit. You feel that a bit in your forearms as your kind of hands and wrists are keeping you stable. Then walk on the spot with the feet. Move the hips side to side a bit. Just, just get everything moving, kind of natural movements here. You don't need to look exactly like me. Again, we're just moving around, getting everything going. Nice, then right foot's gonna come forward slightly, maybe straighten that a little, or think about getting your right heel to the mat. Left foot's gonna step forwards, same thing. Walking on the spot, right forwards, left forwards. Really slowly walk in here. Nice and bent knees, and let your head hang. Then here, maybe rock from right to left as well. Kind of twisting side to side. All right, bring yourself down into a squat. I'm going to keep more weight in my hands just because I haven't woken my knees up yet. And then slowly sitting back more and more into the heels as my knees do wake up. Maybe sit those heels down towards the mat more. Mine don't always, yeah, I'm feeling tight today. Mine don't always touch the floor. Good, then hands behind you. Sitting, your hips down on the mat, feet out in front of you a bit, hands back, open the chest out, just shrugging the shoulders back like you're pinching your shoulder blades together, opening that chest out. If you're struggling to do this almost that, like you're trying to like hide your shoulders so you can't see them in the corners of your eyes anymore, opening that chest. Good, bend and straighten. The elbows a few times. Almost like we're doing like really weird dips or press ups here. <laughs> Good. And then just to ease your wrist a bit, point your point your fingers back. And then all I'm gonna do from here is wherever my heels are, I'm just gonna push my feet down into the mat, lift my hips up. So I'm stretching out the front of the hips here. Good. Then drop your hips down, maybe move your heels. A little closer towards your hips, same thing, lift and lower. And then we're going to do the same thing where we're moving our shoulders back, we can do the same thing when we lift up. So here, and then my shoulders go back and I lift my hips more. Use your glutes here too, and then lower. And this is just stretching out the whole of that front, hopefully. Lift, 
Really tense your glutes, shrug your shoulders back. If the head falls back, that's all right. Good, and down. Then same again, lift. Nice, then hips back down. Okay, get yourself back into that squat. See how that feels now. Move side to side, lean forwards and back. All right, maybe sit into the heels more, lift the chest. I can definitely feel the difference now. Then back up into that fold, bring your feet or toes so that your uh, feet are parallel. Then bend the knees, hands down, and we'll just slowly walk back into that dog position we were in to begin with. And just notice the difference when we get there just from moving around for a few seconds notice how much better you feel that feels good then forwards to plank check in plank how do you feel here now good back to dog again then walking towards the hands see how that's starting to feel as your feet get closer to your hands. Hanging out here. Side to side. Get Drop to a squat. Nice crunch from my knees. Hopefully the mic picked that up. <laughs> Good. Hands back again. Shrugging the shoulders back. Opening your chest out. Maybe bend the elbows and straighten. Then we'll lift the hips. So stretching the front of the hips out again and shrugging your shoulders back to lift the chest and lower. Maybe just touch the mat, then lift again and lower. Lift, good, and lower. One more, really try and stretch that front out though. Lift, shoulders back, hips up and down. Nice, bring yourself back up to a squat. See how that feels, feels even better now, good. Into a fold. Plant the hands, walking back into dog. And then just those natural movements in dog again, side to side. Move around your shoulders, chest. Nice one, forwards into plank. And then we'll do that one more time. It's starting to feel good. So hips up, dog, side to side if you want. Then start walking on the spot. Lovely. Into that squat. Hands back. And then lift and lower the hips. We'll just do three of these. And then last one, really exaggerate. So use your glutes, shoulders back, then drop down, hips down. Before we go to a squat, because I missed it before, bend the elbows away, stretch the chest, and back up, just a few of them. Nice one. Back up to your squat, then into your fold. Bend knees and then walking back into your down dog. Good. And then we'll just finish with pigeon. So right knee under your right wrist. Bring that left knee back to stretch out your hips. I'm just going to go light here today. So come back and do this when you need something to energize you. Now that you've done it, you know it's not that hard, you know it's not that tricky to do, it takes a few minutes. Hopefully you feel so much better after doing this. When you get up after this, you're gonna feel better about yourself because you've got up and moved. You know there's that small part of you that's always considering, I'll be all right, I'll just miss it today. You're not gonna do that now. So whatever you're doing after this, make sure you enjoy it. Make sure you reward yourself somehow for doing that. So other side, left knee under the left uh, wrist or hand and then drag him back. All right, so make sure you kind of celebrate what you've done today. 
if you're feeling good afterwards and uh, come back and do it again. All right, thanks for watching guys. We've got plenty more videos, so make sure you look out for them and I'll see you in the next one.